Well, hi everyone, Steve Patterson here from PhotoshopEssentials.com. In this video, I'll show you how to make it rain in your photos with Photoshop. In a previous video, I showed you how to add falling snow to an image. This time, we'll learn how the same basic steps can be used to add rain. I'll be using Photoshop CC, but everything is fully compatible with CS6. Let's get started. Here's the image I'll be using. I downloaded this one from Adobe Stock. If we look in the Layers panel, we see the image on the background layer. We'll start by adding a new blank layer above it. Click on the New Layer icon at the bottom of the Layers panel. This adds a new layer named Layer 1 above the background layer. Double-click on the name Layer 1 and rename it Rain. Press Enter on a Windows PC or Return on a Mac to accept it. We need to fill the new layer with black. Go up to the Edit menu in the menu bar and choose Fill. In the Fill dialog box, set the Contents option to Black, and then click OK. Photoshop fills the layer with black and hides our image from view. To create the rain effect, we'll use Photoshop's Add Noise filter, the same filter we used for adding snow. Go up to the Filter menu, choose Noise, and then choose Add Noise. In the Add Noise dialog box, set the amount to 25%. Choose Gaussian and Monochromatic and then click OK. Photoshop fills the layer with noise. To turn the noise into rain, we first need to make the noise bigger and we can do that using Photoshop's Scale command. Go up to the Edit menu, choose Transform and then choose Scale. In the Options bar, click the Link icon between the Width and Height boxes. Then change the width to 400%. This changes the height to 400% as well. Click the check mark in the options bar to accept it. To blend the noise in with the image, go back to the layers panel and change the blend mode of the rain layer from normal to screen. Well, this hides any areas of black on the layer, leaving only the white noise visible. At the moment, the noise looks more like snow than rain. We'll fix that by adding motion to it using the Motion Blur filter. But before we do, let's convert our rain layer into a smart object. That way, we'll be able to go back and change the Motion Blur settings if we need to. On a Windows PC, right-click on the rain layer. On a Mac, Control-click. Then, choose Convert to Smart Object from the menu. A Smart Object icon appears, letting us know that the layer is now a Smart Object. To add motion to the rain, go up to the Filter menu, choose Blur, and then choose Motion Blur. This opens the Motion Blur dialog box. Set the angle to the direction you want the rain to be falling from. I'll set mine to 65 degrees, so the rain is falling from the upper right. We control the amount of motion using the Distance option. I'll set mine to 75 pixels, but the value you need will depend on the size of your image. When you're done, click OK to close the dialog box. And now the noise looks more like rain. To reduce the amount of rain and increase the contrast, we'll use a Levels Adjustment Layer. Go back to your Layers panel and click on the New Fill or Adjustment Layer icon at the bottom. Choose Levels from the list. A Levels Adjustment Layer appears above the Rain Layer. To make sure the Adjustment Layer affects only the Rain Layer and not the original image, we'll add a Clipping Mask. Click on the Menu icon in the upper right corner of the Layers panel. Choose Create Clipping Mask from the menu. This clips the Adjustment Layer to the Rain Layer below it, and now only the Rain Layer will be affected. The controls for the Levels Adjustment Layer appear in the Properties panel. To adjust the amount of rain, click on the black slider below the left side of the histogram and begin dragging it towards the right. Keep an eye on your image as you drag and you'll see the darker areas of rain becoming even darker and eventually disappearing completely. Then to brighten the rain and increase its contrast, click on the white slider below the right side of the histogram and drag it towards the left. The further you drag, the brighter the rain becomes. After dragging the sliders, you may find that there's no longer enough motion being applied to the rain. 
To adjust the motion blur amount, go back to the Layers panel and double-click on the Motion Blur Smart Filter. This reopens the Motion Blur dialog box. To add more motion, increase the distance value. I'll increase mine to 150 pixels. Click OK to close the dialog box. At this point, you may need to go back and readjust the amount and brightness of the rain. Click on the Levels Adjustment layer to select it. Then, go back to the Properties panel and drag the black and white sliders as needed. I'll leave my black slider where it is, but I'll drag the white slider in just a bit to brighten things up. To see a before and after view of the effect, click on the Rain Layer's visibility icon. Click it once to turn the rain effect off and view your original image. Click it again to turn the rain effect back on. And there we have it. That's how to easily add rain to your photos with Photoshop. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider liking it, sharing it, and subscribing to our channel. Check out our website, photoshopessentials.com, for more Photoshop tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm Steve Patterson from photoshopessentials.com.